Today we're going to talk about the Card Access Garage Door Package. First we're going to show you how quick and easy it is to install, and then we'll show you a couple of really cool applications you can do with it in your Control 4 automated system. Really, everybody should have one of these things. Let's go check it out. The Garage Automation Package comes with everything you need in a single box to automate two garage doors. One of the things I love about the Garage Door Package is how easy it is to install. So whether you're doing a new home construction and don't want to home run wires all the way back to the controller and save yourself some time, or you're doing a retrofit job and you have an existing motor already in the garage, it's going to be easy. First thing you're going to want to do, this is obviously a retrofit application, is locate the button that you can open the garage with and uh, follow the wire all the way back to where it comes into the garage door motor. So you can see it coming down right here. We'll pop this guy open. You're going to want to locate where the wire <laughs> comes into the terminal block here. So I got a little bit of lead here to use as a jumper wire between our contact relay and the garage door motor. So I'm going to snip myself off a little bit of this, you know, a, a foot or two, uh, whatever you need. After you get your power supply wired in, you're going to take your jumper wire, pull it up through this little hole right here, and then stick it into terminals one and two of your contact relay. So once we've got the contact relay wired up, we're going to take our jumper wire, and we're going to put it into these two terminals that I pointed out before. So where the wire comes into the terminal right here, we're going to share that terminal with our contact relay so that we can control this garage door. Now that we've got our wiring taken care of, all we need to do is power the relay by plugging the wall ward into the outlet that's usually right above the garage door opener. Then in order to identify the relay, you're going to want to take the paper clip that ships in the box, put it into that hole right there, and press four times. Before you wire up the contact switch, let's take care of the rail mount first. You're going to want to find a couple of holes that are pre-drilled on the actual garage door itself and put the magnet there see that they all line up for this magnet. I'm going to put my rail mount here, so I'll put my magnet right about here and start to screw it in. In order to do the contact part of this, you're going to want to do it with the garage door open. So you'll set, you'll set the contact on the rail itself right here where it's going to line up with your magnet. You'll take this other part, bring it around the back of the rail and through. And it'll lock up just like that. Once we get the rail mount taken care of, we can wire up to the contact switch. We're going to have three wires on the end of this. Black's your common, red's your normally closed, and white's your normally open. So you're going to have one of these, red or white, that's unused. Today we're going to use the black and the red. So we'll take these, bring them up, the back of the contact switch, put the red into switch one, we'll put the black into the common, in terminal two. Then you'll want to add the batteries to the contact switch and get it identified. So we put the two double A's in. You'll see it booting up, that red light there. And then in order to identify it in Composer, you'll just push this button four times. Then you want to put this up on the wall where you want it mounted. And then you'll add the second half onto that after you get it screwed in. Then you can take your temperature sensor and utilizing the hole that's already there for your automatic sprinkling system, put the probe through to the outside in order to get an outside temperature just like this. Stick it through there. Then on the outside, you'll see where the thermistors come through to be able to get the outside temperature. And then you'll take the other end of the wires and wire that into the contact switch. Now that we've taken care of the hardware, we're ready to open up Composer, add the card access drivers for the contact switch and the contact relay add a couple of generic drivers for both of those and bind them together. Then you can automate the garage to do whatever you want to do. Let's see what we can do right now. We've got the mini remote up on the visor here and I've got it programmed to control the garage door as well as a couple of other things in the house. So all I have to do is reach up here, press the button, and my garage door is going to open nice thing about it, it's got 125 feet of range, so I can open the garage door from really far away.
you can have a custom hold button on your keypad so that when you're out doing yard work, the garage won't close automatically on you. Just stay open until you turn it off.